Hi, I finally got a sprite from a Steam sale. Since it's from Steam, I guess I have to be signed in to access it. I just wanted to load it up to see how it is. I haven't looked at any tutorial since I've gotten it nor started it up. So this will be a first impressions type of video. Okay, so this is the first time that I'm opening it up. I have the usual file menu system here uh, and a quick access bunch of buttons here. And this cute little sprite that blushes when you mouse over. Recent files, recent folders, and then news. So today we're releasing a new A sprite version 1.2.28 and version 1.3 beta version, including some bug fixes and performance improvements. I don't know when these were made. Well, it doesn't say any dates, but it says mine is up to date, so that's it. Uh, what can we do? So file menu is just the basic ones. Scripts, edit, very standard. Uh, color mode, layer frame, select, view, onion skin. I kind of know that's for animation, but that's about it. Timeline, similar. Help, read me, quick reference, documentation, tutorial. That sounds interesting. Okay, so I'll just wing it. I'll create a new one. Okay, so I guess the default width and size is 32 by 32. Color mode RGBA, grayscale. Each pixel has a gray value and alpha, so brightness. Uh, each pixel has red, green, blue, and alpha components. And each pixel is a reference to the palette. And we can set the background to transparent, white, and black, and advanced options. Pixel ratio, 1 to 1, 2 to 1, and 1 to 2. So we'll just uncheck that, set the background to white, RGBA, and click OK. That's pretty much it, I suppose. You know, not too much in terms of setup or rigging before you start dynamics. Oh, there you go. It's looking for the zoom tool. And tool, zoom tool, Z, H. You see the tools would be on this side. I don't know if we can drag it. Can't right click. That's fine. Pencil tool, spray tool. Okay, let's start with the pencil tool. Oh, there's a preview, so that's actual size. What does that do? I don't know. Minimize it? No. Play? Stop? There's not much pop-ups, I suppose, that give you an idea of what it does. Let's just pick a color. Do. I'm just using my mouse right now. I don't really have... Oh. Creepy smile. Yeah, I don't really have my tablet hooked up. I should do it, I suppose. But, you know, until then... That's quite, quite handy, I suppose. I mean, ugh, can't draw hands. Oh, that doesn't look kosher. Uh, I just want to draw a hand. Don't know if that looks like something else, but it's not meant to. There's the other hand, which just doesn't do anything. It just disappears, and uh, and a hat. No. Okay, so. That's that's it, like a pretty terrible drawing there that I've done. Sprite duplicate, sprite size, canvas size. We can adjust the size on the fly. So let's bump it up to 64. And borders, trim content outside the canvas. Eh, not for the moment. So, you know, you can just... Oh, crap. Oh, okay, right, tab system. So I guess you can have multiple work in progress there. Uh, frame properties, I, I'm not even trying to get into that at the moment. Wouldn't even know what to do. Or do I? No, never mind. Uh, timeline, advanced mode. You're going to advanced mode to go back, press control F key. Okay, advanced mode is everything taken away. Control F, I supposed to, oh, phew. thought I was stuck there. Uh, read me, quick reference, tutorial. That sounds about the best way to go about it. It is just a web page. That's that's pretty handy. I mean, like ideally it would be with the actual product itself, like just a, a text file, but I guess, you know, this would be more up to date. Right, so sometimes pixel artists want to share their magical knowledge to the world and we are grateful they use Ace for this. Okay, so I've actually like some of these, like that guy, I don't know his name, I can't see it from here. Oh sorry, Adam Mort. I've actually seen a few of these people on YouTube when I was following or, you know, like it would just pop up for a sprite animation and whatnot. Uh, okay, so that's handy enough. I mean, best way to do it would be from people who've used it. That's handy as well. If you ever want to improve your pixel art game, shortcuts are the way to go. That's it for me. I'm not going to play any of these tutorials for the moment, but, you know, 
it's handy enough so it's one of the more recommended editors if you want to get into pixel art or pixel animation which is great for if you just want to create artwork or you know something for making game assets and so on it's pretty lightweight and seems easy to get into so uh, once i've started using it i will get back to that with the full review anything that i particularly like or don't like so until then thank you so much for watching and goodbye